Hi, I'm Praveen Marjan with Cisco, and I'd like to talk briefly about the need for IPMPLS intelligence in core service provider networks. A recent report by the Yankee Group on IP core network intelligence reveals that service providers are migrating toward converged multi-service IP core networks. Service providers have two choices while making this shift to IP. One option is to design the core for high bandwidth, simple IP transport. The alternative is to infuse intelligence in the core by using MPLS. Yankee Group believes that a great majority of top tier and competitive service providers are adding intelligence to their core networks. There are several reasons for building intelligent core IP networks. First is the huge demand for rich, personalized consumer broadband services such as IPTV, internet video, voice over IP, and gaming, all of which need IP core intelligence to guarantee user experiences. Next is the demand for high-value profitable managed services and premium business applications such as telepresence, which require an intelligent IP core to ensure quality of service, security, and other service-level policies to meet service-level agreements. These new services have implications on how to build this next-generation core infrastructure. Service providers must reach new thresholds of IP core scalability. This can be achieved through virtualization by intelligently distributing router resources in hardware and software across multiple chassis. In addition, the integration of the optical transport layer through IP over DWDM with secure domain routing helps consolidate POP architecture. Thus, intelligence in the IP core allows service providers to offer the following capabilities. Distinguish among layer 3 services and applications. Employ advanced traffic engineering to a diverse mix of services. Use adaptive intelligent functions in a virtualized environment. In the Yankee Group report on IP core network intelligence, several alternative technologies promise to challenge the intelligence provided by IPMPLS. However, these alternatives based on layer 1 or layer 2 technologies have limitations in the core. IPMPLS, on the other hand, guarantees service provider standards maturity proven control plane, advanced traffic engineering, and true multi-service support. These less intelligent alternatives remind us of a similar effort more than 10 years ago to position ATM in the core. This architecture emphasized static provisioning of connections that resulted in n-squared scalability problems and extreme complexity. We've learned from this past lesson, and the industry has evolved. With IPMPLS, service providers embraced a multi-protocol technology that prepares them for the future with a converged, ever-expanding core. To read the Yankee IP Core Network Intelligence Report, visit cisco.com slash go slash service provider. Thanks for watching.